Yemen's Ansar Allah are on the offensive on Marib City once again. The Saudi-led coalition is struggling. The Houthis, as Ansar Allah are colloquially known, reportedly captured 10 out of 14 districts of the city in their latest push on March 4th. The Houthi government deputy foreign minister Hussein al Easy said that apart from the significant central district of Marib City, every other significant location was under their control. A key strategic location, home to one of the largest oil infrastructures in Yemen, Marib has seen intensified fighting and a renewed military offensive. It is also the last Saudi stronghold in the relatively calm area of central Yemen. If entirely lost by the Saudi-led coalition, the city would allow the Houthis to carry out even more attacks on targets within the kingdom's borders. Saudi-led coalition airstrikes have continued bombarding Houthi positions, according to Houthi media. These managed to impede the swift movement of forces, but haven't deterred the offensive. As it usually happens when the Houthis get the upper hand anywhere in Yemen, the so-called Western world begins yelling foul. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres immediately said that widespread fighting could lead to the displacement of thousands. He called on Ansar Allah to halt their offensive on every front, and primarily on Marib. No calls for the Saudi-led coalition to stop their airstrikes or continuous ceasefire violations in al hidea were made. In addition to Marib city, the Houthis struck behind enemy lines. This included two attacks. The first one targeted the King Khalid Air Base in the southern Saudi province with a Qasaf 2K suicide drone. It was reportedly successful. Ansar Allah claimed to have fired a cross-border missile and struck a Saudi Aramco facility in the Red Sea city of Jeddah. According to the Houthi military spokesman Yaha Saria, the attack took place at dawn on March 4th and was carried out with a Quds 2 winged missile. It reportedly struck its target. Riyadh has not admitted either of the attacks, and there are no other details. The UN has also said that it has received unconfirmed reports.